Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Java program to implement hybrid inheritance. Before going to the implementation of hybrid inheritance, first of all we have to know about what is inheritance, what are the types of inheritance, what are the advantage of inheritance. These are the points we have to know compulsory. Inheritance is the process by which one class acquiring the properties of another class. The class which inherits the properties are called as derived class or a child class or a subclass. The class from which the derived class can inherit the properties, that class can be called as base class or a super class or a parent class. The main advantage of inheritance is code reusability. What is code reusability? Whatever the properties that are present within the base class without writing the properties in the derived class by using the inheritance concept, we simply inheriting the properties from the base class by the derived class without rewriting that, without rewriting the methods. That is the main advantage of inheritance. Next, what are the types of inheritance? First one is single inheritance. Second one is multi-level inheritance. Third one is hierarchical inheritance. And fourth one is multiple inheritance. And fifth one is hybrid inheritance. In the previous videos, we are already discussed all types of inheritances except hybrid inheritance. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance is one type of inheritance. Hybrid inheritance can be implemented by combining more than one type of inheritances. So, there are five inheritances are there. We have to combine any two types of inheritances. Then we are getting the hybrid inheritance. Now, in this example, we have to combine two inheritances. One is hierarchical inheritance. Second one is single inheritance. So, now see this one. This is this is single inheritance. In the single inheritance, only one base class and one derived class exist. The derived class can extending the properties from the base class by using the extends keyword. The derived class can inheriting the properties from the base class by using the extends keyword. Next one is hierarchical inheritance. In the hierarchical inheritance, only one base class and more than one derived class is exist. The derived classes can ex can inheriting the properties from the single base class by using the extends keyword. Now we have to combine hierarchical inheritance and a single inheritance to get the hybrid inheritance. So see this one. This is the diagram. In this diagram, class A and class B are inheriting the properties from class C. Okay, here two derived classes, one base class. So, two derived classes A and B can inheriting the properties from the 
single base class that is a C. So this is called as hierarchical inheritance. Next consider this one. Class D can inheriting the properties from class A. So this is called as single inheritance. So in this diagram C A B can be considered as hierarchical inheritance and only A and D can be considered as single inheritance. Now we are combining the hierarchical inheritance and a single inheritance. Now we are getting the hybrid inheritance. So class A and B extends class C. This is called as hierarchical inheritance. Class D extends class A. This is a single inheritance. By combining these two, we are getting the hybrid inheritance. This is the simple example for implementing the hybrid inheritance. How we are implementing this hybrid inheritance? Now we have to write the program for implementing hybrid inheritance. Class C. In that class C, we have to write one method void display. In that method, we have to write one statement system dot out dot println. This is base class. base class for hierarchical inheritance. inheritance. Now we have to close this method and we have to close this class. Next one class A extends class C. Here we have to write one method void show void show in that method we have to print system dot out dot print ln so this is a derived one class derived one class for hierarchical inheritance. Now we have to close this method, we have to close this class. Next one, class B extends extends class C. In that one also we have to write one method void show one method. Void show one method. In that method we have to write system dot out dot print ln. This is a derived two class derived to class for hierarchical inheritance for hierarchical inheritance next we have to close this method and we have to close this class next one I am taking class D. So up to now we are completing this one. So here class C is the base class. Class C is the base class. Class A is 
derived class for hierarchical inheritance class b is derived class for hierarchical inheritance so c a b these classes can be considered as hierarchical inheritance here class a and class b extends class c then this type of inheritance is called as hierarchical inheritance in hierarchical inheritance only one base class is there that is class c and two derived classes are there class a and class b okay next one only by considering this a and d this is called as single inheritance for a single inheritance a is base class and d is derived class so class d extends class a here we have to write one method void display one void display one in that method we have to write system dot out dot print ln derived one class derived one class for single inheritance single inheritance class now we have to close this method and we have to close this class now we can go for the main main class main class is hybrid inheritance in that main class we have to write the main method public static void main string arguments in that main class we have to create the object for the last derived class that is last derived class is a d for that one we have to create the object obj is equal to new capital d semicolon by using this object we can call the method present in the class d that is display one display one next by using the object obj dot we are accessing the method of class a that is a show method show method okay next we have to close the main method we have to close the class obj dot show now we have to save this program save as hybrid inheritance dot java hybrid inheritance dot java so the program is saved now we have to compile this program java c hybrid hybrid inheritance 
dot java the program is successfully compiled now we have to run this program java hybrid inheritance yes we are getting derived one class for single inheritance we are getting derived one class for hierarchical inheritance okay so this is the program for implementing the hybrid inheritance in java in hybrid inheritance we are combining single inheritance and hierarchical inheritance so this is the program thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts